Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be looking at this MacBook Air 13 inch early 2015 and this particular computer has an issue with its battery. So if I look here, it's saying service battery on the battery icon and that's because this particular battery has a cycle count of 571 and its full charge capacity is much lower than it should be. So that's showing 2,493 milliamp hours. So we're going to be doing a battery replacement today. So the first thing we're going to need to do is to shut down the computer. So I'm just going to click on the Apple logo and shut down. I'm going to make sure this computer is totally turned off. Today we're going to be installing this BR Tong professional laptop battery replacement and this particular one is the A1405 and uh, this is a typical battery that you can buy on Amazon or eBay. I'm pretty sure that they're all the same type of Chinese produced battery. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the packaging and just show you what we've got inside. We have the kind of typical battery with some plastic on the cells and uh, this is what we're going to be installing. But the most important reason we're opening up is because we need these screwdrivers. So this particular battery seems like it comes with three different screwdrivers. One's a Phillips head, this one is the pentalobe, and this one is the Torx screwdriver. I'm not sure why they gave us a Phillips head screwdriver because we don't need this, but we've got the pentalobe and the Torx screwdriver here. So the first thing we're going to do is to flip this laptop over. And we're going to use the pentalobe screwdriver to take out the screws here. So the pentalobe is a 1.2 pentalobe screwdriver and it's basically only really used in this particular MacBook and also the MacBook Pros from this era too. So um, it's good that they've included it because that means that you don't have to go out and buy one because uh, it's very unlikely that you can use this exact screwdriver in any other place apart from one MacBooks. So the main thing to be aware of is these two center screws are longer. So this back plate just comes off. So all we need to do now is to disconnect this battery, which is this cable there. And then we're going to use the Torx screwdriver to take off these screws here. So there are five screws in total, one, two, three, four, five, that we need to remove. These, the top three are longer. So once all those five screws are removed, we can just go ahead and lift out the old battery. Now I'm going to fit the new battery in. So um, a question that I get asked a lot is, should I remove these plastic um, covers? Then yes, I would, because these look like they're quite of a, a sealed package and they probably affect thermal performance of the battery. So I will just go ahead and remove those. So once the plastic's removed, I'm just going to slot this in like so. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is to plug this cable in. So just uh, push this cable in from the side. Like that. And then we just kind of uh, slot this battery in. And then I'm just going to put the screws back. So the long screws in the top left, in the center, and the top right. And then we have the two bottoms uh, torque screws here. So once that's battery securely in place, we can now secure this bottom cover. Now we've got the two long center screws here. So that's now done. So that's uh, all the screws are in nice and firmly. It's going to flip it over and check the charge rates. So I've now loaded up the battery and opened up the power profile settings. And this particular battery has a cycle count of zero. So that's a brand new battery. And what's really good news is that we have a full charge capacity of 7,300 milliamp hours. So that means that we have a excellent battery replacement and I think that this particular brand is probably going to be quite good. I've used this brand before. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for this particular battery. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tech video.